Top of Mortar Fancy family, how are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? You recognize this backdrop? I do. I think we should start this day off. How do you think we should start this day off? Uh, what do you say we go to Canada? Oh, yeah, we could do that. Or we could feed some big snakes. Or we could feed some big snakes. Or... Oh, B and B, <laughs> Brian and Brian. Okay, let's have it, I got it. You got it? I got I get this one's easy. Oh, this one should be okay, okay. Okay, let's see. I'll give you a real I'll give a, sorry to have a softball here. Okay. Uh, what do you call a snake that builds things? A hamster with a pinball. <laughs> is that is not that, that Okay, this time I want you to really try Okay, uh, all right, tell me again. What do you call a snake that builds things? Uh a snake builder. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm gonna give you one, one more one shot. More, one more shot at it. I right. want you to really I'm harness really all your brain I'm power. I'm really and like thinking. Give it all you got, like you know, math test, whatever it takes to really get those neurons okay. firing up there. A snake that builds. A things. A snake that builds things. A slithering boa constrictor. Ah, yes, <laughs> this guy. Yes, yes. One of these days he's gonna get it, guys. One of these days he's just gonna come out the gate and nail it. I'm about to vlog Brian vlogging himself feeding a snake. The first time I've ever fed Lucy, and she already, oh, she, she looks scary. I have to go in the cage to feed her. Yeah, I'm gonna watch you do that. Okay, let's do it. So I'm pretty excited that I am about to feed Lucy for the very first time. I have all my friends with me. Of course, you got Desiree, you've got Miguel over there, Brian, you've got the crew over here. Forest is somewhere, I'm not sure where it is. Regardless, I am going in with Lucy, and uh, this should be pretty fun. How are you doing, sweetheart? Calm? Whew. And there it is. There you go, girl. There you go, that's a little better, huh? Touch pumpkin. All right, what do you think, Brian? I think that the reticulated python eating is one of the most awesome things you can witness in oh life. Oh gosh, it's so incredible. Look at how beautiful she is. It's a really good sign that uh, she ate in here because this is her new enclosure and he wanted to make sure she was really comfortable. And she took, and it's definitely different to be sitting inside a cage with a snake when it's eating like this. It's uh, pretty cool. I'm gonna leave her alone though. Miguel's never gotten to feed a big snake before, but he's, how do you feel about your first time about to feed a big I'm snake? I'm a little nervous and excited nervous? at the same time. You should be a little nervous. It's a pretty powerful thing. animal. All right. Aw, that was that Too was easy. so easy. Too yeah. easy. Yeah, I have experience doing this already. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Same by the BHB in these wonderful cinematic walls and heading the road to Canada. Hopefully I may cross the border. Have I, how many times have I said that? All right guys, we are on the road approaching the border and we've got Forrest, we've got Dez, we've got the oh, guy guys. back there learning how to feed big snakes. <laughs> and we got our faithful driver, trusty driver. I don't know how much faith he is. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Hi okay. there. You just run into me, that's fine. Hello. How much is that, Bye. Thank you. Thank you. How are you feeling about driving across this bridge, Brian? I hate bridges and I hate this bridge and I hate every bridge. <laughs> Gosh, is, is, am I the only one that just thinks this is absolutely terrifying? Yes. This is the moment of truth. We're approaching the border. Uh, it seems like all of us actually have a little something, so we all we're all we're all at risk here of not making it across. Uh, welcome to Fear of Failure Friday. Dude, I'm so I'm so, so happy right now to be across the border. I I'm we're here. I know. I'm in B, I'm in! I was trying to get yeah, in. Yeah, I just gotta figure out GPS because my GPS isn't coming up and I don't know how to get there. 
Yeah, drive it out, man. Oh, yeah. The struggle continues. Oh, yeah, that's, that'll totally do it. That was a lot longer drive than I thought it was going to be, but we are here at Mutation Creation. I'm trying to get to know you much better. Don't matter how much time it would take. We got Billy here at Mutation Creation. He put on this awesome contest. If you guys didn't get to catch that, he made this awesome contest where he flew out some folks to check out the facility and got everybody together so we could have a good time. And it's definitely a success so far, man. If you guys haven't seen Billy's channel, there's gonna be a link down in the description so you can find it. Awesome. And this guy has more energy than probably most people I've ever met in my life. And he's about to drink some coffee. I don't know what's gonna happen here. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be intense. Catch me in a few. This is the lucky man Gavin who won the contest. Made it out here all the way from South Africa, yeah? Cape Town, South Africa, yeah. Cape Town, South Africa. That's quite a journey. He's, he probably feels a lot like I do right now, which is, is that tired. Yeah, very much so. That's how you get some energy for the show, man. It'll be good. Exactly. So everybody's hanging out, having a good time here at Billy's place. Really cool, kind of really good warm-up, actually, for the uh, Toronto CRBE Canadian Reptile Burritos Expo that we're all going to. And uh, everybody's just hanging out and having a good time and checking out cool snakes, talking about stuff, meeting each other. Really good thing you put together here. Really, really cool. And then there's this guy. Hello. This guy looks a lot taller in his videos than he actually is, obviously. Yeah. But well, camera angles and lighting. Camera angles, lighting, that's yeah. probably what it is. <laughs> but him and Miguel are in a real close race right now for subscribers, and we all know that Miguel doesn't really need or deserve the subscribers, so you guys need to go over and click subscribe on Justin's channel, because he also produces some of the best ball pythons in the game, so there's a good I reason I don't have Miguel's do so. personality, but I have some nice balls. <laughs> Look at that guy, man. <laughs> wow. So this is where the story takes a hard left turn. We're here at Niagara Falls, and Next would have been the reptile show, however, unfortunately, my camera was taken from basically right next to me. I had it sitting right on the table next to me. I was stopping to give some people hugs and high fives and talking, and I'm sitting right there at um, Justin and Miguel's table, put my camera down, gave some hugs, turned around, camera setup was gone. And honestly, I'm as bummed as I am about losing the camera, of course. I can replace that. What I can't replace is all the footage I got at the shows of everybody coming up and saying hi. All, all the cool animals that were there, the little mini interviews with everybody showing off their animals. My new buddy, Amanda, who came up and she was just like in tears and crying to meet me and give me a hug, which was very flattering. Amanda, thank you very much. You, made, you really made my day with, with how excited you were to, to meet me because I'm just a dude with a camera. And I'm pretty embarrassed that I've lost my camera twice in a year. I'm not very proud of that fact, even though it was somebody else leaving me, it's still, I'm still kind of embarrassing for me. So, um, that being said, I'm, I don't blame Canada. I don't blame the people of Canada. I just blame the person who is there. And so what we're doing is we're actually putting out like an APB and as many people as can share the fact that my camera was stolen and we're gonna have footage soon from the security cameras that we can share online and see exactly who it was that took the camera. Uh, we're giving, giving that guy or girl a chance to reach out anonymously and return the camera or at very least the footage of the show because it was some really good footage I got. I put a lot, I filmed all day long and I just want the footage back. That's all I really want. So if you guys can share this, get that out there. Uh, otherwise we'll, we'll get the picture of the person, we'll put it up online and we'll find you eventually. So choice is yours. Uh, all that being said, it's been a wonderful trip. I had a great time. It, it, it didn't put much of a damper on it at all, you know, missing the stuff. I still had a blast. It was, really great meeting everybody up here just means I'm gonna have to come up again and get new footage <laughs> um, I can't thank everybody enough that that it helped me there's so many shout outs I gave. that's another bummer about the footage there's so many shout outs I gave to so many people and it's great to have them in person now I, I can't dredge up everybody's name and all the people that I shouted out uh, but thank all of you for you know who you are you saw me you were there and we're just gonna have to do it again uh, until then you guys take care of yourselves take care of each other